Zidano, and their technology is millions of light years ahead of ours. No! I'm such a fool! Thank goodness you stopped me! Well, what can I say? Be careful, because I can't always watch you all the time. Mm. Hello, welcome, greetings. <laughs> uh, sorry I nearly diced you into cubes. <laughs> We've had a very mild winter this year. It's really been quite pleasant. <laughs> Do you know the area, or is this your first visit to our neck of the universe? Here we are! Eat up while it's nice and toasty. How stupid! Our guest doesn't eat the same type of food as we do! Of course, you're so right! Sandwich? Cake? I think he's still mad at me. No, you're always overreacting. He's just exhausted. It's a long trip from planet Sedano to Earth. Now then, time for a nice relaxing bath. I put in a bit of fennel mandarin oil. It's divine for diffusing tension. Do you suppose Zardoxes breathe underwater? <laughs> I'm not getting a pulse! Give me 3,000 volts! Nothing! Do something fast! Stay with us! Don't you die on me! Uh, are you sure that's his heart? I mean, you might be massaging his toes or something. He was nearly sliced and diced! And he's a lousy swimmer! He mixed up his heart with his feet! Please! Save him, Doctor! Calm down. I'll see what I can do for him. <laughs> it's all my fault! There, there. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll pull through. <laughs> Well, Doctor! <laughs> it's nothing. A little bit of rest and he'll be good as new. Yes! However, you two will take Veriflex 2,000 three times a day, almost 500 milligrams after each meal, Niflor suppositories every two hours, and Psychofix spray in case of attacks. No charge for the visit. I gotta go. Geronimo! And whatever you do, don't operate heavy machinery! Oh, good. It feels like his temperature has gone down a bit. Maybe there's a movie on. That will relax him. And for cucumber puree, you must grab it to a... <laughs> TV violence is really getting out of hand, wouldn't you say? Hubert, we have to face it. Zardoxes are tortured everywhere. We're monsters! I'm ashamed to be an Earthling! <laughs> Don't get carried away. It's just a question of different cultures. You think they'll put up with this much longer? I bet they're already secretly planning a massive attack! You mean, like an armed invasion? With octopus robots? And giant mutoids? <laughs> They are pretty good at karate, too. <laughs> it's the War of the Worlds! Everyone hide! I got it. We'll free all the Zardoxes, and that'll restore peace to the galaxy. Would that work? No. You, tyrant! With or without you, the Zardoxes will find their road to freedom! Rise up and fight, comrades! Time to free yourselves from slavery! <laughs> Come on, you guys! Time for action! We can't do everything for you! Hey, hey, hey! You touch it, you buy it. Okay, no problem! I will buy them all! 
Oh, really? Okay, that's 18 tons, 930 pounds, that's $568,000 and 24 cents. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Dip, dip, dip. Comrade Zardox, you are free! Now then, the bathroom is upstairs, and if you would kindly remember to leave the seat down. <laughs> Uh, Girl Scout cookies? No thanks, we're on a diet. As representative of the Zardox people, I urge you to immediately cease comparing us to brainless vegetables. Failure to do so will force us to invade your miserable planet and to enslave your people for 7,004 years. Sir, you have identification like a passport. Otherwise, how do we know you're not pretending to be a Zardox? Liar, liar, pants on fire. Neener, neener, neener. So there. Let me see one of you Earthlings do that. Not too bad, but can you touch your nose with the tip of your tongue? I can do it. Yeah. Knock it off or I'll zap you into bacon! Final warning! Still, he couldn't do the tongue thing. Mm, that's a lot of cucumbers. Yeah, too bad I don't like them. Ooh. Hey, show some courtesy to our guests. Don't mind her, everyone. She doesn't really mean it. <laughs> <laughs>